Tom and Lisa had been married for 20 years, and to celebrate their anniversary, they decided on a dream road trip along the iconic Route 66. Starting in Chicago, their destination was Santa Monica. They'd planned this trip for months, eager to rekindle their love of adventure and escape the monotony of their daily lives. They left Chicago early one crisp morning, their car loaded with supplies and their spirits high. The first few days were filled with laughter and the excitement of discovery. They stopped at roadside diners and took pictures by the classic landmarks that dotted the landscape. They felt alive, rejuvenated by the open road. As they reached Missouri, they decided to stop at the Devil's Elbow for some photographs. The place had a rugged beauty, with its sharp curves and scenic vistas. However, as they parked and stepped out of the car, a strange chill settled over them. The wind whispered through the trees, carrying faint echoes of voices they couldn't quite make out. Did you hear that? Lisa asked, shivering despite the warm sun. Probably just the wind, Tom replied, trying to sound reassuring. But even he couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. They snapped a few photos and hurried back to the car. As they drove away, Lisa glanced in the rearview mirror and swore she saw a shadowy figure standing at the edge of the road. Their next stop was the Rialto Theater in South Pasadena. Tom, a movie buff, was eager to explore the historic cinema. They were given a tour by a friendly guide who regaled them with stories of the theater's golden age. However, as they entered the darkened auditorium, Lisa felt an overwhelming sense of dread. Halfway through the tour, she felt a cold hand brush against her arm. She turned, expecting to see Tom, but he was several feet away. The guide noticed her discomfort and offered to end the tour early. Outside, Lisa told Tom what had happened. He tried to calm her down, suggesting it was just her imagination. But Lisa couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right. In Winslow, Arizona, they decided to spend the night at the La Posada Hotel. The hotel was beautiful, a relic of the past restored to its former glory. However, as soon as they stepped into their room, Lisa felt uneasy. The air was heavy, and the shadows seemed to move on their own. That night, Lisa woke to the sound of soft crying. She sat up, her heart pounding, and saw a faint glow by the window. A woman in a white dress stood there, her back to Lisa, weeping softly. Tom, Lisa whispered, shaking him awake. But when she looked back, the woman was gone. They spent the rest of the night wide awake, the eerie presence lingering in the corners of the room. The next day, they made their way to the Canyon Diablo ghost town. The deserted streets and crumbling buildings gave them a sense of stepping back in time. Tom was excited to explore, but Lisa felt a growing sense of dread. As they walked through the ruins, they heard whispers carried on the wind. Tom felt a tap on his shoulder, but when he turned, no one was there. Lisa caught sight of a shadow flitting between the buildings. They hurried back to their car, their excitement replaced by a deep-seated fear. Their next stop was the painted desert trading post. The once vibrant stop was now abandoned, a silent witness to the passage of time. Tom and Lisa decided to take a few pictures, but as soon as they stepped out of the car, they felt an oppressive force. The wind picked up, howling through the empty windows of the trading post. Tom thought he saw movement inside the building, but when he looked closer, it was empty. Lisa felt a sudden urge to leave, a feeling of being unwelcome. They quickly got back in the car and drove away, the trading post disappearing in the rearview mirror. In Gallup, New Mexico, they checked into the El Rancho Hotel. Known for its Hollywood history, the hotel was charming, but something felt off. The staff was friendly, but the other guests seemed distant, almost spectral. That night, as they lay in bed, they heard the sound of footsteps outside their door. Tom got up to check, but the hallway was empty. Lisa, meanwhile, heard a woman's voice whispering in her ear, though she couldn't make out the words. The hotel, once a symbol of glamour, now felt like a prison. Their final stop before Santa Monica was the Hotel Monte Vista in Flagstaff, Arizona. 
By now, the couple was exhausted, their spirits dampened by the constant unease. The hotel was lively, but the laughter and music couldn't dispel the shadows that clung to the corners. That night, Tom saw a figure standing at the foot of their bed, watching them. He tried to call out, but his voice was gone. The figure faded as dawn approached, leaving them both shaken and weary. When they finally reached Santa Monica, the couple was a shadow of their former selves. The joy and excitement they'd felt at the beginning of their journey had been replaced by a deep-seated fear and exhaustion. They parked by the famous pier, but the sight of the ocean and the sounds of the boardwalk did nothing to lift their spirits. They sat in silence, watching the waves crash against the shore. As the sun set, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, Tom took Lisa's hand. We made it, he said softly. Lisa nodded, tears in her eyes. I'm glad we did it together, she whispered. In the days that followed, Tom and Lisa slowly recovered from their journey. The memories of their encounters along Route 66 faded, becoming stories to tell rather than nightmares to relive. They realized that the trip, though terrifying, had brought them closer together. The challenges they faced had strengthened their bond, reminding them of the love they shared. As they sat on the beach, watching the sun dip below the horizon, they knew that they had faced the shadows and come out stronger. The road behind them was haunted, but their future was filled with light. Tom and Lisa returned home, their hearts full and their spirits lifted. They hung the photos from their journey on the walls, reminders of the road they traveled. They knew that the spirits of Route 66 would always be with them, but they also knew that the love they shared was stronger than any ghost. Together, they faced the future with hope, their journey along the haunted highway a testament to their enduring love.